This video will show you how to merge two designs together into one hooping. We're going to merge these two designs, swirl designs. First I'm going to double click the longer design. I'm going to click editor to go to the editing screen. And before I make any changes to this design, I want to resave it. You never want to make changes to your original design. Always make a copy of it first so your original is safe in the same condition it was when you bought it. Let's go to File, Save As. We want to save it as a PEZ. Click OK. When the menu comes up, let's give it a new name. We're going to name it Merged Design. Click Save. Now we're going to merge the other design in with it. Go to File, Merge, and we'll scroll through and try to find the design that we want to add to it. Here it is. It's the corner design. I'm going to double click that and it will add it to the hoop. It adds it right in the center because it always puts the design in the center of the hoop. But we can move these wherever we want. Here's how to do that. You'll notice on this side that the corner design has a square around it. That means right now it's the chosen design. We're going to put our mouse over it, click the left button and hold it down and move it to where we want it and then release the mouse button. In order to move this design we'll need to go here and click once to make sure the, cer the square is around this design and then again we're going to click down with our left mouse button and hold the mouse button down while we move it. Let's move it here. When we're finished moving release the mouse button. You'll notice that we have two designs here in this right hand column. We need to merge those designs so they stay together. So the first one is already highlighted. What I want you to do is now hold your shift button down on your keyboard and click the next design once. You'll see that they're both highlighted now. Press the join button to join these two designs together. Now you'll see from the borders around the design that it's slightly off center of the hoop. We can change that by going to this button and clicking once and it'll move the design to the center of the hoop. Also you'll notice in the right hand column that there are many different color changes. I can show you what these are by right clicking on the first one and saying hide all colors except this one. That way you know that this is going to stitch first. On the next box I'm going to right click and say show color. The gold is going to stitch next. I'll go through the same thing with the other boxes. Right click, show, and it, sh it moved, uh, it stitched some small circles there. That's all that's stitched on that part. Right click, show, and the chocolate brown over here stitched out right click show and the final color stitched out. There is a way to make it so there are less color changes that you'll need to make but you have to keep in mind that sometimes there is a reason for there to be so many stops and starts on the colors because the design in order to look right certain colors have to stitch before other colors some are behind, some are before. A lot of designs will work if you do a color sort and make less color changes up here, but some designs won't. Let's give it a try on this one and see what happens. There's a button here called Smart Color Sort. Let's click it and see what happens. It comes up with a window and it wants to know the difference. Let's change it to 1 by clicking the arrow and then click OK. You'll notice there's still three colors here but let's see what happens. Right click, hide all colors and you'll see all of these browns are going to stitch first. Right click, show color, 
all of the gold will stitch then. Right click, show color, and it's those three design three little circles that stitch. If you didn't want those, you could just leave those off and stop after the second color. But our design is now finished and ready to go to the hoop. Let's save it. Click on the the save button and then click manager to go to the manager screen. Here's our design and here it is highlighted merged design. We're going to right click input output operations USB stick click that. Here's our design click write files to card. It is a PEZ design that's okay. Do we want to write the associated files? Yes. Okay. And then we can close this. At this point you can remove the stick from your computer, take it to your machine, and stitch out the design. Thank you.